I put together a, um, a series of my photos. Um, most of them are black and white. I took them when I was about um, 13. I was only really young and I only had a push bike. And I one had an old black and white 127 camera. And um, most of the photos are, um, you'll see there have been um, the side elevations, front and probably on down. Um, it's because I always thought I'd make um, models of these trucks. So some of them are a little bit repetitious, but um, some of them are good viewing and there's a few good classic shots. These ones here, I push bike out to the showgrounds, and these are just the um, circus trucks they used to arrive, um, you know, first time of the season. And uh, this little short wheelbase comma. Little wee short Bedford. Never seen one like that before. I didn't know whether that was done at home or whether you could buy them like that, just not sure about that one. These are army trucks, just down um, by the council chambers, I just happened to be there at the right time and um, they're on exercise here. TK Bedford is down at the wharf and you can see how it's all changed nowadays. This is one of the first ones to come to Gisborne. It came on um, uh, on a, one of the old barges deck cargo and I just happened to be going past it because we lived in Winery Road, just up the road and um, ran home and got my camera. Gregor's Transport, these are insurance photos. I don't know how I come across them, but um, they were given to me by one of the, probably one of the mechanics, because I always used to muck around Allman's Motors looking at scenes, and I'm pretty sure that's how I got them. Yeah. Waddy Goldsmith's one. Um, you'll see in some of my photos, you'll see the actual SBF upside down up the coast there and what he's standing on the roof. This is what's left of it. This is an English photo. I used to write to a lot of the um, English manufacturers when I was young and they used to send me photos. This is Pilot Tipping Gear and there's my big ace AEC. This is a TK Bedford. It's Pilot Tipping Gear again. AEC. I think this is a Mark V, eight wheeler. Really neat photo. This one, classic. The BMC. This has been um, twin steered. Siamese, I guess. This is tipping gear again. Pilot tipping gear. Both Tim Straders, and they've. Um, had extra wheels put under them too, being tagged. This is the factory. You can see how much production was going on in those days. As soon as they figured out trailers were doing all the work, this is where they made all the rams and stuff. This is pilot tipping gear in England. Napier, um, my parents and I, we just happened to be on the highway and I asked them 
dad to pull in here and I snapped a photo of this old um, Dodge. Um, this is um, one of Domini Brothers. It's an Alice Chalmers. They were working just around the corner, around by Delator Road in Gisborne here. An old Alice Chalmers. You don't see them now. This is Feast of McJoro. And um, they did a lot of work in the fire riders. This is taken in the fire riders when they were working. Most of these shots are all just at different angles. Only in the summertime could you work up there, you could never work in the winter time, so it was pretty hot. Get close to the dozers and, and scrapers in those days, you couldn't do it nowadays, you'd be told to get out of it.
big big machinery for the time. This is a little one taken to Ministry Works in Alcuni Road, just a little one that's just been over all international. There's another one of their transporters. It's an American. I'm not sure if it's GMC. I think it was a um, could have been a Studi Baker. This is a Euclid. You don't see these ones nowadays, but they're sought after for collectors to try to find these ones. Went the wheel scrapers. You don't see them around anywhere. It's a pity the light got into this one a bit because it would have been a classic shot. Euclid's taken over by Terex now. This is a drop. It's taken in the Ministry Works yard. I used to go in there. You couldn't walk in there nowadays and take photos, but I, when you're in those days, you could just walk in. This is all, you know, take photos and things like that. An old D7. This is a classic shot of a Foden. That was down in the Ministry Works yard in Awapuni Road. Um, only a, a certain amount of these ones came in the country and they just happened to bring one to Gisborne. They must have been working in the gorge or somewhere. This is in Winery Road across the road from my parents' place. Winston's just happened to be there um, shifting some people. So I took um, a lot of shots at different angles, thinking one day I could take a, make a model of it again. Imagine going to Auckland in this now, fully of furniture. This is around in Piatur, um, an amalgamated dairy company. This, this tank is just filling up the. They had petrol pumps there, and this tank just happened to be there. We were living in my uncle's house just along the road. This one here is Atlantic, this round by the Maori Pa, ran Kaiti. They had a fuel um, depot around there, and Atlantic was there, and Shell was also there. And, um, yeah, just a lot of um, good shots of old tankers. They're a good combination, they're um, set up quite well. wonder what happened to all these old trucks and tankers. This is Ward's Transport. I used to work at Ward's when I was an apprentice and managed to get heaps of photos of the old trucks. These are the freight trucks they used to go up and down the, up and down the coast. Stock trucks. Old Albion Reavers. The old printle hooks on the back. Wind feeders weren't, weren't invented then. different shots. I've actually built a model of this one and um, we've won a lot of prizes with it. Just the two Reavers that Ward's had, D9 and D10. Freight truck again. This is taken just in, um, by the old police station in Peel Street. The Opera House used to be right alongside. This is in the Fire Radars. They were loading an HD-16 Alice Chalmers onto a transporter. The transporter's from Wairau. I'm just not sure of the guy's name. The truck was yellow and black. Now, this one here, this guy here standing there with his hands on the hips, um, he just about rolled that team straighter. So the front end loader and the grader, they hooked wire ropes on the back so it wouldn't roll down the bank. Another shot of the 16. Gregor's Transport. This is taken to Kaiti Freezing Works at the loading banks over there. Because living in Wainui Road, I always used to go around there and just check the, um, um, you know, the trucks out, to see if there's anything come in. One of Gisborne Transports there. TK Bedford's just started to come on stream, they are real modern. This one is Clayton's, 
This is a Scammel. It's a little wee short wheelbase here, Spedford. Never seen anything like it before. They're very rare. Could really turn on a dime. This one here is N.B. Smith from Tolliga Bay. That one was yellow and blue. Looked a bit rackety, but the roads were absolute. They were trashy. This is Ivan McKay. This was a BMC, and the colour scheme was uh, red and grey. He was putting cattle and used to go along the road and put the cattle when they built the new race in Kaiti. This one's taken down in Fielding. My parents used to stop there for my um, grandmother used to live there, and I used to go walk about. And the sale yards down there, heaps of trucks used to come in there. And this is just one of them. The Mets were down there too, and this is one of Kiwi carriers. Just happened to be on the side of the road. A lot of trucks around Palmerston North building. Another one. Another Albion. These ones would have been would have emptied the sheep out and they were just I don't know what they were doing, just parked on the side of the road, whether they were getting more sheep. It's hard to say really. See the old Vauxhall Park there. A different angle. These ones were um, yellow and red, if I remember. Falkland and Johnson, Palmerston North. Another good shot. See the old comma in the background. Bills. Big name around Palmerston. the old series comma and the and the newer shape with the big grill. These ones looked like they were on cattle. You can imagine driving around the flats of Palmerston in these old trucks. Here's another one. Ashes. the Met's yard. He had new trucks sitting in the yard there ready to have bodies fitted on them. And so I used to just walk in there and take photos. That one was red and cream. This one here is um, um, been modified. It's got a GM engine in it and the front of the International has been extended. It's good transfer. This was a big rig for its day. You see how the bonnet's been extended? It's got a um, headache rack in the top where they used to put the um, drag line, all the, the jibs of the drag lines, they used to hook them into the top. The old International. This one's had a tag axle stuck under it. This is in the Met's yard. This is a brand new comma, just had a body um, put on it in the Met's. It's light blue. Ready for disc dispatch, I would imagine. This is just round Palmerston. A little wee comma, a little wee short comma with a with a mixing bowl on it. This is the later comma again now. Yeah? one that was um, sent to me by a transport company, a little dog trailer in behind it. Must have been able to just get that extra bit of dirt on the back of that little trailer. There's walkers. When I used to ride away to the companies, they used to send me photos like this. International. down in Fielding again, this is the Mets um, spreading, they used to do a lot of um, um, super spreading, that's the Hydromap trailer ready to load onto the truck, this is a classic shot of um, one of these Inters, that's a 4x4 four four, and it's towing the Hydromap behind it, orange and black these colours. This is a real 
real classic shot, this one. Pulling the Met trailers too. This is one I, I went for a ride with the driver, and um, you know I was lucky really. And he's in the paddock here, spreading this, spreading the fertilizer out. Here he is loading again, getting ready for another, another run around the paddock. The truck was orange and black. There's the hydro map loading into the into the truck. This is um, up on top of the fire rudders. This is when I worked for Downers, and um, this is our workshop. And there's an HD21 there, and that's just looking at us, and you can just see the back end of an HD16. This is the 21, and the turbo was blowing on at this day, and we were just changing it. Used to blow, um, the exhaust was all blown, turn used to blow, you could see all the soot all around the front of the grill. And This is in the Wairau Airport. That's Fred Apuri driving the driving the um, motor scrapper TS24 and there's a 16 in the background just another this one's actually picking up a load scraping this is the real way to shift dirt they, boy they could shift some dirt these things not like today where you just do it with a with a, with a um, scoop if you want to shift dirt, this is the proper way to do it. And at the same time, it's rolling too with these motor scrapers. There's Fred. He jackknifed it, and then um, you could push the well, put the throttle down on the rear motor and um, just about get the nose to touch the ground. There's me posing. Had a few drives in them. It's really easy to drive. This is over at the Kaidi um, Gisman Engineering. The monks were just bringing out a big um, silo that Gisman Engineering had done. That's the little Jenka. Had a GMC running gear and a, and a, and a Ford and tractor engine. This is a GMC parked just round the round from Winery Road. Some English people were shifting and they had a big container and um, the GMC was stretched to its max, that's a metre off the ground with front wheels and it was picking up a big huge container that arrived from England and it was just a big balancing act. There's the container in behind the truck there and um, I think it was, um, that would have been John Monk driving that. This is taken at the Gisborne Freezing Works. I used to love the old GMCs. Um, they're just just classic trucks. They always looked like they wanted to work. This is one of one we used to call ugly. So I used to work for months and um, welding. And um, this was taken, I think, at the YMCA when they were building it. Monks were on the site first, um, putting up a lot of the uprights and stuff like that. We used to call this one ugly. one of A Monk's trucks. It's in Arwa Penny Road where he had his workshop. And um, I think this GMC got rolled, got destroyed eventually. This is in Konini Piatur in the old dairy trucks. He used to take milk into the factory and bring way out. This is collecting. When I was at my uncle's place in Piatur I went for rides though with the guys. He worked in the milk factory and I was able to go for rides. It's a pity the light got into some of these ones. They would have been good shots. This one here, he's taking on whey, and um, once he gets a full tank, he just goes out and delivers it. This is Nuriha, that was another milk factory, just little splinter factories all over the place down there. He was in across the milk factory where my uncle worked, this is the factory where he worked, and he was um, 
taking on milk. This at Nuriara again. They had TK Bedford, they had a couple of these ones. They're a good combination. It's pretty the TK never had a tilt cab because it would have just scooped the market totally. They're always diabolical to work on. It's a comma. I took a lot of photos, like I said, um, all of different angles, thinking one day I'd make a model of them. I've made models of them now, but um, not the milk tankers, but I must make one. That's a classic shot, that one. I was able to go for rides with them. This is just a um, seven-ton you know, truck, and but it had a trailer to go in behind it. I've never seen a combination. Most of them are R2. Here's the trailer. I'm not sure who would have made the trailer. Here's the whole lot hooked up. This one's taken down by the riverbank in Gisborne and um, these guys, men of two Ashwells, just happened to be here doing work up here. They were from Palmerston North. That one was, um, I think it was green, that truck. It had tar all over it. The tanker was nothing to look at, but um, I just took a lot of different shots at different angles. Looks like an old truck chassis there, just been cut up. Villiers motor, I suppose. Here's the whole thing. Tank was a horrible looking thing, but I suppose it did the work. And there's the wharf in the background. It's down at the cut, just by where Waddy's discharged into the river.
was in Nate Beach at the I was in, and we were going past one of Dick Twills and the vlogging truck, and I just happened to snap a shot as we were going past. About the only shot I've got of his trucks, international with a load of logs on. This is over, I was in the J series Bedford. I got a ride, and um, we were overtaking um, one of Colin's death Bedford, going up a steep hill. The J had a diesel engine in, and these ones only had old petrol engines in them. There's the fuel tank in behind there. I used to love fuel. J Bedford was already there and the um, S Bedford was just coming in. You can see the weight, you see the twist that the, that, the, that the truck's got on it. This is an old one Colin had, it was an Albion, and um, he had a trailer for this too, um, but I never got a photo of the trailer, but I did I did actually see it with a trailer on, just a big two axle thing. You could hardly pull it though. Good paint design for an old truck like that. This is just going up one of the steep hills, going up. You can see the roads have changed a lot nowadays to what they were. This is all up on the east coast. It's Colin's old scrapers there with the dozers. That's another one of Colin's um, bottom dumps just there. A lot of the photos are back to front, but um, this is the J-Series going up behind one of, one of the S Bedfords again. This one only got halfway and couldn't pull it, couldn't get it. Once they slow down, that's it. You can't get them up to the top. You need to be pushed. It's just too much weight. All the cab mounts were usually torn away, and um, the cabs used to just jiggle around. I'll never forget it. There's always a smell of oil everywhere because all the you know, it's just so hot. See the oil dribbling out. It used to come out of the digger. It used to dribble down the side of the trucks. All tyres. He's just had a run and just get his metal going. He's come back just to you know, see the see the overseer there just to see where the next load has to go. This is just out by, um, uh, where is it, Sponge Bay. I just ran up on the hill there and took a photo. This is one at Collins Yard at a Tarahira. Little wee short GMC. He had a lot of GMCs. This is one of the shortest I'd ever seen. He used to put it on the transporter sometimes. This is the S Bedford by itself without the dumper. See how high it is in the back and once they put the dumper on squashes it right out flat. This is um, just by Sponge Bay there, that big, um, oh it's a big sloping bend. There's a surfboard shop there now, this is one of Colin's old scrapers. This is a classic shot, taken in Winery Road, just, out, just by the little dairy, just up by Delator, by Delator Road. Lower pieing this place. He used to back the truck and trailer in. I used to get up early in the morning before they went to work and go to his place. Because he used to just live up by the Kaidi School. He used to just wait there and then he used to come out after he had his breakfast and I used to just go for a ride with him. It didn't seem to mind. This is outside our place in Winery Road and um, this GMC was pulling the. This one, one of Collins GMC is pulling this big 12 yard dumper. He's underpowered. We'd only ever go along, you know, not much more to running. A good runner could keep up with it. All different sized tyres on it. He's heading back out to Wiring Curry to get another load. This is Sponge Bay. dropped his load there. We'll turn around on the main highway and head back to uh, Warring Perry, get another load. There's 
another one of the Albion. This one's actually stuck. You've got the left, the left hand um, jewel stuck in a, in, a, in a, and tried to get out. It started to pig root. So the only way with those is you just stop, and get towed. This one is another, just another photo of dropping all the metal. Left hand drive, you know, it was always awkward. Old Army GMC. It's just another shot of that transporter at the Ministry Works Yard and Alpenny Road. Some of these are all just doubled up, but you see the state of the dairy company there. They're you know, all just tag ons, junk lying all over the place. an old scoop. I always thought I might make a model of one uh, of a uh, scoop. These are onion scoops. That's the name of them. This is the S Bedford that got rolled over. That, and this Waddy Golson from the top up there. They're putting wire ropes on it, trying to pull it over. This thing flipped up the coast somewhere. These are insurance photos. Ward's Transport again. This is some of their old trucks. That crate on that old Leyland there was a um, aluminium crate. the old S Bedford. They pulled it back on its wheels again. Not much left of it. There's Waddy Goldsmith just standing there. This is an old Alan Ward's head down at the yard in, um, in Peel Street next to the Opera House.
this is up on the Fire Routers. These are some of Molium's commas. That's a classic shot, that one. Nice shaped barrel. This is the later model comma. They must have come in from um, probably Rotorua, these guys, and um, they brought tar up to the up to the deviation that we were doing there when I worked there. So I raced up and got some photos. There's an old Albion there. And this one's been cyanized, it's got twin stickar seal on. Just me down at Water Transport posing. See how they had the grader hooked on behind the Thames Trader? Just trying to stop that truck from rolling down the road. How he ever got it there, I'll never know. one of um, Downer's D9. It's cl another classic shot. That's Martin standing by his dozer. He was the operator on it. There's the rippers. This was a brand new dozer and they tightened shifted it up there. The dozer came by itself and the rippers and the blade came separate. It's our job to stick it all together. Brand new. It had lock browsers on it. Martin, Martin Hands is his name. He's from down the South Island. There's me with Martin. One of the op other operators on the motor scrape has come over and took a photo of us. Just mucking around. There's the D9 um, in the fire routers. He backed all the way up that hill. That's as far as he got. Then the um, the tracks just didn't get any more grip. It just kept spinning around and around and around. Here's pushing a big, huge load of dirt. The dozer could really push. It's right up to the belly pans and mud. Just taking your foot off the throttle. You used to do that. You used to belch out all that black smoke. I used to take it back to the workshop and. Occasionally we used to do a full service on it, but um, mostly time was just greasing it and checking the oil and blowing out the air cleaner and stuff like that. It's just another shot of a big huge roll of dirt. It's really hot in the fire riders in the summertime. This is Feast of McJoro. They did a lot of the groundwork from the fire routers before um, Downers finished it all off. There's an old Albion in the background there, probably Macintoshes. These photos are out of the photo news. We've got them all at home. Start of the new construction of the road. I know that exact spot. Feast of McJoro. They're from Wellington. They had a lot of lot of stuff. Wellington Way, Marston, Wellington. All down there. He used to operate. All his gear down there. This is a shot I took. I'd never seen such a big machine in all my life. I was only young. My parents rocked to Wellington in the car and Dad stopped. And I was able to take uh, some photos.
Public Mendoza, that was one of the biggest bulldozers for that time in the world. It had twin engines, two sets of wire ropes in the front to pull the blade up. It wasn't quite as big as a D9, but it was, um, it was really, really big. I saw their gear just parked up on a Sunday. They could really push some dirt around that dozer. It was just a joy to watch. Just had two engines, two um, GM engines, and they were screaming most all the time. You could just sit down and listen to it all day. Just a magnificent thing to to watch working. These ones were taken with the Gisborne Herald when the Feast and Majority were first up there doing the um, the big new deviation and the fire these are good shots, these ones. There they are again. These are Herald photos, these ones. There's the TC-12, the dozer. Of course, loading those motor scrapers, they could really, really shift some dirt, those things. Like I said before, if you wanted to shift dirt, this is the way to do it. This is over at the old freezing works in, uh, over in, um, over on the wharf. And a uh, refrigerator freight lines used to come and get um, carcasses, cut them away. This one's jackknifed into one of the freezers. It's half across the road. Can you imagine that old um, Leyland trottling over the fire routers? as slow as anything. Had a trailer behind that too. Two actual trailer used to pull. There's an octopus. They had an octopus. That's backed in towards transports um, workshop. They used to run a lead out to keep the fridges going. Just another shot of it. That used to go over the fire riders. Used to go um, down to Napier, Palmerston and trips up to Auckland. No power steering. The guy would have um, had to back that trailer in there. It's pretty good when you think about it. There's the old opera house in the background. This one here is, is um, David Finlay when he was real young. And there's Monks and, and, and Freightways. Dales, they would have bought that um, cooker. That's a new cooker going into uh, Finlay's. This, this is Monks here shifting a shifting, uh, um, big um, cylinder. One GMC and an old Bedford. This is a lot of field airs, um, R series trucks. I used to work there once. This is probably the only shot I've got of all the trucks. At any one time, we would have about um, four or five of them. This one, this photo here is a monk, and they're just pushing it with a little D6 there. This is out at um, Teachings Cut, doing the stock banks. There's the TD24 with a scraper in behind it. Here was the old taking, the old um, caterpillar. Here's two of them. The other international is sitting there waiting for a push. This is another good way of shifting dirt. Tractor and scoop certainly better than the way they do it nowadays. All these are just different shots. standing down below this and they were up on the stock bank and the international drove past. It um, shook all the ground and everything. The sound of that engine roaring, twin exhaust, used to be an awesome sound and it used to just vibrate everything when you were standing close to them. He was going real fast there, coming down off the off the banks 
hollowing it all out there. It's just another shot of a different scoop. I once thought I'd uh, make a model of one of these scoops, and that this is an hour twenty rated A monks workshops. That one never had the A-frame over the top. This is the old one of months. It's parked in a, a section just around the corner from Winery Road. New subdivision they were breaking in. Had the blade on then. I'd never seen it with a blade on before. taken the blade off and just put the scoop on. I thought it would be a good project once to make one, so I got a good shot of all the wire way, all the wire ropes set up. This is George Hipton's this is a classic shot. The old those are working. He's taking off the topsoil here and stockpiling it. Here he is going up on the pile. You can see the blocks for the for the blade sitting on the front of the frame. There he is, he just put an act on for me and came over the top of the heap. Instead of, uh, he's emptied his load, instead of going off the other end, he just sort of thought he'd come over the side, just like he is now. I could have sat all day just watching them though, just, just the noise of the engine. It's just awesome. This is another classic shot. TD24, it's one of Amonk's ones.
seriously shifting metal. That's the way to do it.